Alright, so guys, not to waste here, and I want to give my thoughts on Pokemon's recent event, basically about the latest movie they're going to show finally in the U.S., the Volcanic Pokemon and the Robot Pokemon, I, I forget the name, I'm shooting this by the head, I do apologize, and the new anime Pokemon Sun and Moon, the series. If you're following the anime, of course, especially in Japan, but now also in in America, Pokemon X, Y, and Z is coming to a close, and they're getting ready to go to Pokemon Sun and Moon. In the internet, I saw this on, well, on YouTube, Pokemon, their channel, and they showed a, a, an English preview trailer for Sun and Moon. So I was like, oh, cool, wow, already? Surprisingly... It just started to be shown in Japan, and they already mentioning about this. So I said, "Cool, you know, maybe you know. I mean, it's entertaining, but I'm really not that into the anime." So then there was an announcement that starting with Pokemon Sun and Moon and the latest movie, Pokemon Company made a multi-year deal with Disney XD. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, of course, you know, I'm not going to say the other word, but you get the idea. So, okay, so here's a little bit about myself. I like Pokemon. I played Pokemon. I was sadly Pokemon started when I'm already in college because, you know, I'm an 80s kid. I grew up with Nintendo. Still kind of sad I couldn't get the mini NES, but that's a different story. So, I started late, then I watched the anime, it wasn't that bad. And then, I mean, first it was four kids who owned it, it was really, like, crappy, no offense. And then Pokemon Company took over, partnered with Cartoon Network, it got a little bit better. And now, they're moving to XD. Which, sadly to say, I don't really support it. Don't get me wrong, Disney's a great. I mean, I know Disney. Heck, I like Kingdom Hearts. It's fun playing the game. Story, a little bit work, but you get the idea. But Disney in general, oh no. I'm more a Looney Tunes, that's right. I'm more a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes fan. I grew up watching Bugs Bunny because, you know, I think it's cooler than Mickey Mouse, in my opinion. So, that's the reason why I said I don't like Disney XD. I try not to support them ever since what ever since well two things that happened. Disney bought Marvel. I guess it kinda makes sense, but I still didn't really agree with it. I was hoping they wouldn't touch the the, Mar- the Marvel franchise, but huh? Well, everybody was wrong. They were basically done goof with it. The the movie may be great, but because it's so great that they're trying to emulate the comic, the franchise to the movie, thus Getting less acknowledgement to the X Men and to the Fantastic Four series or anything that doesn't own by uh, or Disney. <coughs> yeah, so Disney's trying. Uh, well, Disney and Marvel trying to just acknowledge the X Men and Fantastic Four or anything that's owned by Marvel because of, or Disney because of the movies. Yeah, kind of suck there. Not so much with the Star Wars. Per se, but they're trying to change the lore. I don't really didn't agree. It's great they're doing movies. You know they're whoring out Star Wars. They did admit it that they're gonna whore out Star Wars because they paid a lot of money. But saying that a lot of the games, a lot of the books are not canon to the Star Wars lore. You know, screw you. Kind of suck. Uh, see something like that. That's why I can't really support Disney. Not at Disney. See if Marvel. And Disney was on Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers bought them. I know it's kind of far-fetched. Hey, it'll be a different story. So, now, from now on, Pokemon is airing in Disney XD. And the the previous Pokemon episode and movie, it's now owned. Well, it's not really owned, but Disney has the rights. That's what it is. They have the right to show it now, so you can't watch it. In, you can't watch it on... Cartoon Network, which I prefer that, but of course, Cartoon Network is Warner Brothers. But of course, there's always Netflix. But just hearing Pokemon and Disney in the same sentence is like, ugh, that's why I don't like it. 
Is it going to be bad? Are they going to change stuff? Well, Pokemon is for kids. The only thing I'm worried is if they're going to be... If they're going to pull a freaking for kids or, yeah, like making Americanized, that's going to suck monkey eggs. Yeah, because they kind of did that with Yokai Watch. They trying to lessen the Japanese law and culture. I, I, I kind of watch it on Netflix. And then, of course, Dry Em On. Oh my goodness. I tried watching an episode and I'm like, oh, okay. When they were talking about dollars and basically trying to remove, again, limit the Japanese culture, I'm like, oh, great. Yep, they're Americanizing this to at least, at least with limitation. And remember, like I said, it sometimes if you're localizing Japanese product, cartoon, anime to kids, it is deemed necessary to change the name so they can understand. Sometimes it also works with the fans because then it's easier to remember. Kind of like what Alex said. Alex said in Backlog Battle, he did say that, you know, people in the West know him as Phoenix Wright, but in Japan, he's Ryuuchi. But again, I mean, if you're a super fan, you, you, you can accept the Japanese culture and the name, but to the general fans, or the general consumer, the general viewer, they might not. That's just a little bit concerned, but you know it's a necessary evil that's the only thing but we'll say because I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. When they Pokemon on Cartoon Network, it was everything unchanged. I mean, besides the names and stuff, but the food there they showed was something Japanese. The language it's a Pokemon language, because believe it or not, they're in a technically a fantasy world. They have their own language, if believe it or not. And well I'm surprised they didn't say anything about money, but then that's well I don't know. So hopefully they're not going to change like from onigiri to donuts. Oh my gosh. And referring everything like American. That's going to be suck. That's going to suck. So that's just my little concern. Again, not so much of an anime fan. But I'm really not a fan of them changing it so much to American. I said like another four kids. And look what happened to four kids, you know. Kind of messed up, so look what happened there. Now they had to change their company. They still exist, but they do something different. So there you go. So you say, hey, you know, not to waste. What have they done this before? Like mess up the franchise? Yes, one big one. Naruto Shippuden. Oh my gosh, I could not watch the Disney version of Naruto Shippuden, and heck. To some extent, in some other country in Europe, where Naruto, the original one with the orange jumpsuit, was shown there in DC XD, yeah, they had to cut a lot of things. So I'm like, yeah, this is not gonna work. No, no, this is not gonna work. I have tried watching it, and I'm like, nope, put my hand on the TV. But thanks. To the Cartoon Network gods, or should I say the Adult Swim gods, Naruto's back where it belongs, and I'm enjoying it. It's awesome, you know, unedited, a little bit of violence to some extent, so sweetness. But when it was on Disney XD, yeah, that thing kind of, I'm sorry to say, suck. I just prefer everything on Cartoon Network because a lot of people have said that Cartoon Network is going down with stupidity. Yeah, I can agree with it. That'll be a different story. I mean, did Teen Titan go? Really? Uncle Grandpa? Funny maybe, but uh, Chowder wasn't really that funny. Uh, there's some good ones there, but again, I'll explain it in a different story. But the biggest offender there is Powerpuff Girl. Oh my goodness, it's like, what the heck do they do? They tarnish the franchise. Once respectable franchise, now it's like a Teen Titan go. So stupid, but that'll be a different story. There, I'll give my thoughts about what's happened. So, maybe the question is coming up why is this happening? Why is it now on Disney XD? Uh, maybe Cartoon Network and Pokemon Company they had a disagreement and said, Well, we're gonna go somewhere else. 
So it is a possibility that it could be that Cartoon Network dropped the ball. They're known for dropping a lot of balls. Like I said, I mean, it's balls, ball, well, balls, dropping the ball, balls. I mean, I don't know. What, what, I don't know what I'm talking about. Balls here. Do I apologize? But the point is, they have dropped some. They messed up things. They done goofed. For a while, the Gundams. They were known for always showing in Cartoon Network. To some extent, Adult Swim. The last one was Gundam Seed. And then Gundam Double Zero went to... What is that? Sci-Fi. For a while, they had Sci-Fi Enemy. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't unchanged, but same thing. It's just... I just find it doesn't belong. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a fanboy. I just think... Anime works with Cartoon Network based of Toonami. Maybe, but it's not adult Toonami. I don't know about that. But anyway, yeah. Then, of course, surprisingly, Gundam, Iron Blood, Orphan. It's back to Toonami. That was actually... I did not see that coming. So, I mean... Yeah, like I said, that's going to be a Cartoon Network slash Adult Swim V-Block. There have been a lot of interesting that happened with Cartoon Network. The do- Cartoon Network may be dropping balls left and right, but the Adult Swim part... It's getting better, in my opinion. It's not going to be the same as the OG one, but it's something better that makes sense. So, like I said, again, I just feel like anime and kids' anime should be in poke, should be in Cartoon Network. It just makes more sense. I kind of disappointed. I'm disappointed to Pokemon Company that, again, like I said, maybe they dropped the ball. There was a negotiation problem. Just say, hey, forget it. We're moving somewhere else. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! New, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, what, v? Arc? Arc V? On... Um, whatchamacallit? Nickelodeon or Nicktoons? Eh, it's okay. Can't really keep up with it. But the problem is, the thing about... At least good with Cartoon Network. They're good with scheduling. I don't know about... Well, Disney XD, sort of. Because Star Rebel, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to keep up with the schedule when it's an XD... But when it comes to network, their like their schedule is really straight on. Nickelodeon is somewhere in the middle. Like the Power Rangers, always at twelve noon makes sense. I get the MT, and of course I got you know DVR. But of course you can just also watch it. I mean, it's also if you miss it, you can always watch it on the internet, YouTube. So there's no really harm there. But I just felt again that Pokemon should be meant to be a Cartoon Network. Again, it could be Cartoon Network dropped the ball. Like I said, they have done it multiple times. They've done it with the Gundam. They basically done goofed. Thus, there was even a rumor that Cartoon Network had something to do with Bandai anime visual going, like basically disbanding in America. It could be not, but there were some rumors flying around, but that's in the past. Still, I'm shocked Gundam Iron Blood Warfare is a cartoon, is an adult swim on Cartoon Network. That's, that's okay. Back to my story. Yeah, so there's maybe more than me tell what's going on, but as just as of right now, Pokemon Sun and Moon, the, the series, is on Disney XD, probably starting in 2017. Kind of suckers. Another one also is another a new Beyblade anime, not the one with Jinga. They never finished that one. I don't know what happened, but whatever. Yeah, it's going to be also in Disney XD. It's either the business there is better than Cartoon Networks. I, I don't know. But in my opinion, business may be sucky and shitty. Excuse the language, finally. is They do good. They're organized. And that's why i kind of used to watching it on Cartoon Network. So, who knows? I don't know what's going on. Kind of suck, but it is what it is. So with that, thanks for listening. That's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.